It's easy to explain how virtually free hydrogen can be made using anti-gravity. But firstly, we need to understand how gravity works. No one has ever shown why everything is attracted to everything else until now. This is how gravity works. 93% of atoms in the universe are hydrogen atoms. Hydrogen is made of a positive charge, a proton, and a negative particle called an electron. The shape of the electron is irrelevant as long as it is coiled. An electric field exists between the two. As the electron orbits the proton, it cuts through the electric field. A magnetic field is induced into the coil, causing the electron to topple as it orbits the proton. The electron and proton radiate electromagnetic gravity waves. When the electron is horizontal, it is an electric particle. When it is vertical, it is a magnetic particle. Gravity waves from hydrogen synchronize the spin of electron magnets in neighboring atoms. Those electron magnets then radiate gravity waves of their own, which explains why the Sun and Moon pull in the same direction. When gravity waves from hydrogen in the Earth are magnetic, the electron magnets in the apple are magnetic, so the apple is attracted to the Earth. When they are electric, atoms do not attract each other. The magnetic forces switch on and off 1.42 billion times every second at the hydrogen frequency. The force of gravity is alternating magnetism, caused by the synchronized spin of electron magnets in neighboring atoms. Now we can see how to make virtually free hydrogen using anti-gravity and how to make the elements. The fourth hardback edition of Future Science Forbidden Science of the 21st Century is available now or download the papers for free from www.mauricecotterell.com.